G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. There's Rossi painting up the Palazzo de Pule. She's done a Marvy job, you can see. I might come a little bit, whoa, that's a bit rickety Andy. I'll zoom in a bit. You can see her vines. She's even put a window with mesh front and back so nothing can get in. You can see she's even put curtains in. Incredible. There's, she hasn't finished painting that side. She'll put something in those pots. There's our little balcony. Oh, truly is Palazzo, isn't it? Hey. Well, I'm doing a double video. Uh, more by accident than anything else today so I'm doing a bit more work on the chook run you can see over there I'm halfway through building a gate the posts are in there I'll frame that up because I want to put a bit of a roof on as well um, you can see talking about roofs I've actually taken the shade cloth off the top of the aquaponics area um, and that's because it's winter if you give me a minute, I'll stroll on over here and I'll show you what's led me to believe that I really do need to do this. Sorry about the jerking around, you can see I'm wolf. Alright, there's the... Got some nice growth in that tomato on the end there. But if you look at my lettuces, they're real leggy. So they're thin, they're long, uh, the main stems are not thickening up very nicely. Um, now I reckon that's because they're not getting enough light. So that hence I've taken off the shade cloth. Um, and if it goes the way I expect, it looks like shade cloth will be a summer thing over here to stop everything from burning um, and come off in the winter. Uh, there's a few little chilies over there and an eggplant I think coming. So that's good news. Um, the strawberries are going gangbusters. Perpetual spinach is doing pretty well. I've got perpetual spinach in fact both ends it's up behind that tomato over there as well um, I've made some changes I'll just swing around sorry if that's making you giddy uh, making changes to these little beds so you can see uh, yes I am pulling the stones out and replacing them with clay balls the clay balls is just so much easier to work it's not funny it's a bit of rocket at the end and that's my charge you can see they're going gangbusters um, but anyway, <laughs> the real reason I'm here is to keep working on that damn chook house. Um, so we'll get into that today. I'm going to leave this, I know I'm jumping all over the place and I apologise for that. I'm going to leave the supports on the aquaponics so I can put the shade cloth up come next summer or if we get a sudden heat outburst. Um, so wish me luck, eh? That's the top of the frame out you can see. Uh, I've got some corrugated plastic will go over that to give me a waterproof roof, uh, roof. So that's good. And then we'll just have to wire wire up. That's why I left that overhang there. I'm thinking I might run another one through the tree there somehow to act as a bit of a support for the wire as well. There's our gate. And we'll run down up to on top of that retaining wall over onto the frame, I think. Um, so that's where we're at. Oh, just crashed into the window. That's where we're up to. There's the aquaponics bed that we took the cover off. Things are looking a lot happier, I'm pleased to report. Um, and the chook house build continues. We're close to done now. That's... Um the wire we used is a fairly fine um, Avery wire. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but we've actually got some corrugated plastic up there to keep the water off this front part. Hopefully it won't stink as bad then. Uh, oh look, there's my side gate open to show you that that does actually work. Um, so yeah, not quite finished. I've got a a little bit more we want to do along the front here where the aquaponics is um, and then she'll be done it's looking pretty flash i got to say huge huge so here we have the historic moment where the girls are released into the chook house why don't you give me the plastic bucket so they have to get off that and... yep. 
Rosie reckons they're two two not keen to they're growing haven't they hey Rosie reckons they're not keen to launch but I reckon they are So I'm just grabbing them and launching them myself. Is that ruby or? Yeah. This is coral. No, that's ruby. Oh, see, we can't even tell them apart now. So there they are. Pecking around. Oh, I'll give you a look around the coop in a tick. Bobby. Bobby. Come on. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Alright, so part of the coop ended up quite good. The bit that I was bothered framing went quite well, quite neat, but then of course we had this damn tree and so everything around the tree is as dodgy as all get out. So I've decided there's no snakes at the moment because it's going into winter, it's quite cold today. Um, I've decided eventually what I'll do is frame this whole damn lot out and do it properly. But at the moment, I'm sick to death of it, and it's good enough for the girls, they're happy. Um, so there you go, folks. That'll be the final video of making the chook house. There we have Rob and, uh, Rob. <laughs> Roz and Bob doing their favorite activity of chicken watching. Well, that's it for another exciting adventure from McDowell Manor.